Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into the channel today. I'm going to have just a quick lesson of an idea that I use a whole lot in my playing and especially in my original compositions. Uh, this is basically a shape that uses fifths and open strings to make uh, melodic moves up and down the neck, kind of all in parallel. And so uh, this whole idea of parallel fifths is something that in classical music is usually avoided. In more modern music, you hear it uh, all the time, but on 12 string, it lends itself well as a way of doing melodic things up and down the neck without having to do bar chords. So on this guitar today, I am tuned one whole step down. This is my drop tuning guitar. Uh, so, so I'm playing this G chord here, C chord, G chord. I'm actually tuned one step low. So what you're hearing coming out is an F and a B flat chord. So, to show you how this works, basically I want you to play a G chord, and sometimes this is what's called a G5. So there's a one, two, so there's my G chord there, basically my G chord, and then I'm gonna add a third finger in. So the strings I'm holding down from bottom to top, pinky is on the third fret of the first string, third finger's on the third fret of the second string, everything's open in the middle to be to the top two pairs of strings and then i have my first finger on the the b which is the second fret of the uh, fifth string and my third finger is reaching over to play a g uh, on the top here which is the third fret of the the six string pairs so so this is called a g5 because they double up on the five that's not an actual technical name of the chord but it just kind of helps people know what what particular voicing we're using. So for this chord here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just release everything but the middle two fingers. So my second finger's on this G, and my third finger is on this D. So that's third fret, third fret. Six string pairs, second string pairs. So basically, this interval, it's a fifth divided across, spread across two octaves. So it creates a sound kind of Russian-y sounding, maybe like a Gregorian chant. Okay, sounds kind of cool just on its own. Now what we're going to do, if you stay in certain keys on, when you use this, you can use the open strings on the guitar as drone strings, which sounds really cool because anytime on a 12 string you can leave open strings just ringing it gives you that jangle that you really like so in this case I want to play like this G okay so if, if I'm gonna call them and just kind of as they are here okay this is a, a dyad of G A B flat B on the seventh eighth is C D's on the tenth E is on the twelfth 13th is F, and if you want to reach all the way up onto the body here, you have a G up on the top. I can also go down from this G down to this first fret, and that's an F. So F, G, A, B flat, B, C, D, E, F, G. So those are the notes I can use for this pattern that will use open strings that can harmonize with it in different ways. So let's say if I'm just playing... Let the bottom string ring and my finger the way it's leaning over I'm actually muting the fifth string pairs so that a note is not sounding at all and that's going to be the case in all of these chords just by leaning over I'm just gonna let this finger kind of flop on top of the fifth string pair and so as it touches it it's going to mute it so now as I move this around let's go down first fret. Sounds pretty cool. The chord, the notes of the chord that you're playing here are F, there's a D, an open D, a G, a C, and an E. So this is an F6-9 chord. And if I move back up to the G, with the bottom string open as that E makes it a G6. So if, if I want to do something kind of fast,
sounds pretty cool. Let's take it up. This is kind of a, a, an indefinite sounding chord because it really doesn't have any kind of a chordal shape in it, but you could use it as a transition. So let's go up. We're going to go from the third to the fifth to the sixth to the eighth. So the notes we play there, there's the G6. Here on this A, I'm playing an A, a D, a G, and a B. So it's probably, probably you could use that as an A11. Then if I slide up to the 6th fret, it takes on an interesting character. There's a B flat and an F. So there's the 1st uh, the and 5th of a B flat chord. I have the 3rd string, that's a D. So that gives me a B flat major there, but there's this open G ringing. So the G, that gives me a 6. There's a B flat 6. But if I use this E open, that note's not in the key. So that's flat 5. So this is B flat 6 with a flat 5. It's kind of dissonant. If you just play it straight, it sounds like somebody just banged on the side of a piano. But if you finger pick it, it becomes kind of melodic, full of mystery. Third. Sounds cool. Third. Five, six. Wow, very piano-like. Let's go up to the seventh fret. This is a B, a D, I'm holding an F sharp, that's a B minor, and I've got this G ring in there, so it's a B minor sixth with a flat five. Let's just go back between six and five and hear how this cool that sounds. take it up one to eight. Look how cool that sounds. This is a C with a D ringing in it makes it a major ninth and I'm holding down the G there so it's a C major ninth. So let's take a look at that six to seven to eight. that is. It's very much like a piano with these ringing notes and these non-scale tones. It sounds really cool. Okay, now take it up to the 10th fret. There I have a D, playing up against another D, a G, that's a suspended fourth, an A, and an E. So a D major ninth with a suspended four. So let's put it together. Let's play it fast. Keep going from the D to the E, E minor, to the F, up to the G of the 15th. Let's go down. Okay, 15, 13, 12, 10, C on the 8th, B on the 7th, B flat on the 6th. Just one shape. 
can move that all over and you can do all kinds of cool things with it. Play around with that and see what you think of it. I'm sure you've got a song in there you'll find that's going to be able to do something pretty cool. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Help me get to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. And uh, catch you later. Bye.